Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. Today I want to talk about why the creeds are so essential to our Anglican identity and our tradition. Well, the creeds we're talking about here are the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed that we say in our worship services. There are some other creeds you can find in the Historical Documents section of our prayer book, and in fact, they are the basis for the 39 Articles. The creeds are summations from the Bible of what we believe are essential truths about the Christian faith and following Jesus Christ. And they're observed, recited, and treasured by millions of Anglicans all over the world. Not every Anglican today feels that way. In fact, there was an Episcopal priest who wrote in 2008 for Episcopal Life who said he'd gotten rid of the creeds because he didn't believe them anymore. What a terrible thing to do because he's depriving his people and his congregation of reasons for why we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and why we should worship him. Dr. J.I. Packer, in his preface to John Rogers' new commentary on the 39 article, says there's five reasons why we recite the creeds and why they're essential. Number one, they're definitional. They provide truth against error. Number two, they're declaratory. They provide us a kind of theological identity card as Anglicans. Number three, they're didactic. They provide an outline for teaching the essential truths of the Christian faith. Number four, they're disciplinary. They provide a kind of a baseline for holding people accountable when they speak or teach against the fundamentals of the Christian faith. And fifthly, they're doxological, which is a wonderful way of saying they celebrate and proclaim the mighty works of God's grace. So here's the appeal to you today. Don't just be a cradle Anglican, be a creedal Anglican. For as the author of Hebrews says in chapter 10, verse 23, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.